Hello and welcome to a video tutorial showing you how to use the filter options in Google Sheets. My name is Tyler Osborne. So you're going to want to use a filter option when you have a large amount of data and you're looking for specific data points. It kind of lets you see the forest for the trees. So right here I have my 21 cent uh, test spreadsheet and I have a lot of nonsense data in here. But I'm going to show you how to turn the filters on so that you can make sense of some of it. So to turn on a filter, what you need to do is click on any of the header uh, columns. So I've got my favorite food one clicked on. And then you go over here to the button that looks like a uh, filter, or sorry, it looks like a funnel. And uh, when you hover over it, it says filter. If you click on it once, just give it a second to process. It turns your spreadsheet a little bit green, so you can see that. And then if you click off of that header, what you see are these uh, three dash lines that get smaller and smaller right next to all of your headers. These are the filters and you're able to um, click on them and choose what you want to see. So for example, in the name right here, let's say I only wanted to see Chad's data. I'm going to click on the, uh, the dashy lines and it gives me the drop down menu like this. And I can do all kinds of things here. I can pick individual names. I can sort the names from A to Z or from Z to A. If you're, uh, if what you're sorting is numbers, like my times per week, if I do sort A to Z, it's actually going to put them in numerical order. Or if I do sort Z to A, it'll put them in backwards numerical order. So whether it's it's alphanumeric letters or it's um, numerals, you can you can sort both directions. Um, all right, let's go back into the names though. And if I press clear right here, I got I let go of all the check marks. And let's say I just want to see Chad's data. I click on Chad, he gets a check mark next to him, and I press OK. And then boom, all the data has disappeared except for Chad's data. So you can see how only Chad has shown up here. Now I can combine filters. So let's say I want just Chad's data and I want it from smallest to biggest. There, now I've refiltered it, smallest to biggest, using only Chad's data. Now, your other um, data points aren't lost. If you take a look, look at the left-hand side here, you'll see that my um, spreadsheet goes from 2 to 15 to 28. That means that all the other fields are just hidden. They are still there, and if we want them back, we just have to take our filters off. So I'm going to clear all on this one, and then select all. And then I'm going to go back over to the names. Oop, I clicked off. There we go. Back over to names, and I'm going to hit select all again. And then press OK, and all my data is back. So I didn't lose anything. It's uh, just hidden, and it's letting you see the specifics that you're looking for. So that's how to use filters. And there's other filter options, but those can be for later videos. That's the basic filter. Super, super useful for looking at uh, large amounts of data. If you like this video, please drop me a comment on uh, YouTube or there's always the feedback form that's on the website. I always appreciate feedback. Thanks for watching.